Hey guys, it's Donna, and today I have a double Nadine West unbagging. It sounded weird, <laughs> but I do have two bags today, so we have got a load of things to try on and to go through. Um, I've been doing Nadine West for a very long time. Um, they are usually more affordable than some of the other styling services, and they tend to send you more pieces than some of the other services as well. Um, it's $10 if you want to try them out. You do get that back if you decide to keep anything that covers their shipping to you, but you do as long as you keep something, you won't lose that $10. I'll also leave a link below that should get you free shipping on your first bag and $10 off, so can't really lose, right? All right, today, since we have so much to go through, I think we're just gonna dive in. I'm gonna start with this big bag here, um, and I'm having a hard time juggling both, so bear with me <laughs> as we kind of dig into these. Um, also, they're gonna give you a return label in this bag that you're gonna use this exact same bag to ship things back, so be careful how you open it up. Um, it has like a resealable inside, so it makes it really easy to send everything back, so. Okay, we have three bundles, so not only we got two bags, we got three bundles in here, so. Okay, I'm gonna set the other one on the floor. Cause it's just one roly poly off of here anyway. So, so here is our invoice. We'll look at that last. Also has my return label. And then let me pull out all of my bundles here. Make sure nothing fell out. Sometimes they send you things like scarves and jewelry and things like that as well. All right, this is gonna be battle of the bags, I think. So let's see, let's just start with this plain one here. I think it's just one piece. Maybe something black. That's what it looks like. Hoping it's some dress pants. I have some recently. I got some dress pants. I've been wearing them like weekly <laughs> to work and they are from Nadine West. These are new mix um, pants. Um, let's see here. I was looking for a size. I'll leave the details below in the description too if I can't find them right now. I don't see the size on here for some reason. But we have some black dress pants. Don't know about the buttons, not really a fan of that, but it does have pockets here in the front. You can always take the buttons off or wear a longer shirt. And then it looks like more of a straight leg, if not a flare or boot cut at the bottom. We'll see once we get them on. And then there's no pockets on the back, which I am perfectly fine for my dress pants not to have many pockets. Okay, I'm seeing tropical. Now, obviously I have two bags. So one has been sitting here for a few weeks um, before the other one came. So might've been summer, I'll give it to them. Okay. I see some jewelry, so I'm gonna pull that out first so I don't forget, so it doesn't fall. Looks very tangled up. Um, one thing since I've been doing this a while um, is their jewelry gets tangled up, and I'm not quite sure why they haven't figured out a different way um, to ship their jewelry, because these necklaces, ugh, is such a tangle. Hang on a second. Oh, that was quicker than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so it actually goes this way. And it's really pretty. It has some clear gems in there, rhinestones with like a floral pattern, it kind of looks like in a circle um, with some clear gems. And then this has some gems on it too, the circle that's on there. So that's unique. I really do like that. It's really unique. Um, and it's intact, it's not broken, so that's good. So we'll try that on here in just a second with one of these outfits, hopefully. And then I see some leopard, got some leopard print. Okay, this is Sheila Rose, size medium. Um, hmm. at least we've got a print. I'm not a leopard print person. If you guys are, here you go. And then we've got like this bottom bell going on here in the middle of the sleeve, this three quarter length. I don't know about this one. Maybe with some black leggings, I could wear it for Halloween, right? <laughs> it could be, uh, I don't know, a leopard for Halloween. So I don't know. We'll see on that one. And then here's our tropical print. Why am I feeling like it might be a dress? This one is Yaletti. This is size extra large. They have not figured out my dress size should not be extra large. Should be a medium. Um, so this is probably gonna be too big for me and I don't think I'm gonna wear this either. So the print on this is wild. Um, be great maybe at the beach, um, but I'm not going until next year. <laughs> so maybe I need to make a trip, right? <laughs> is this my excuse to make a tropical trip? I'm not sure. It's very soft though. And it potentially, yep, it has pockets. So that's always a positive. I just don't know where I'm gonna wear it. So, okay, we've got more, we've got more. Looks like we have another pair of pants maybe. These are Javini, Javini. And then these are size, what is with no sizes today? One XL. Um, so it's more of like a jegging, like you can feel it's more of a denim, but it's not denim. Um, but it is a skinny pant. We've got faux pockets going on in the front, tiny real pockets in the back. So it's more of a jean style. I do like the elastic waist. 
Um, so I don't know, they still look petite, even though they're a 1XL. You have to realize a lot of these brands are Asian brands and they're petite people. So we have to kind of think about that more so in the American sizing. Um, Sheila Rose, size medium. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is maybe last year or even the previous year styles. Um, it's pretty. I have a couple like this. They're kind of unpractical though to wear without anything underneath of them because you're going to see your undergarment there. Um, and I don't know about this color with my skin tone. So first box, just not sure if it's really me. So I have hopes for the second one. Let me grab that one real quick. Okay, round two. Let's see, let's cross our fingers that something looks a little bit more like me. <laughs> something I might actually wear. I hope so. I have more hopes. I've got purple. All right, we've got two tight bundles here it looks like. So let's see here. And then I also have our invoice for in a little bit. Okay, there's our bundles. I can't wait to see what these purples are because I love purple. So let's see. Here is our first. Ooh, losing some jewelry. Maybe a dress again. We've got Yaletti. Extra large. That's a bummer. But again, this pattern it's a little crazy a little wild we have pockets same style it looks like it's the tropical dress just in this wild floral print and we've got like an ombre effect going on there don't know i don't know okay then we've got some earrings these are cute we have some little hearts on these large hoop earrings here so they're pretty significant. They have some good weight to them, but not in a bad way. So those are cute. I can definitely see myself wearing those on Valentine's Day. And then we have some jeggings. These are the Yaletti jeggings in extra large. These are very comfortable. I own a couple of these pairs. Um, these actually look like capris. They're very short. Maybe it's just the way that I'm holding them, um, but they do look very short. So we'll see once we get those on. They have real pockets on the front on the back, which is always nice. There's no distressing. So these are great with boots. Um, and even if they are capris, I can still wear boots with them. So that's good. All right, last little bundle here. And then we'll do a try on, so don't go away. That's the best part. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like a shirt, Sheila Rose. Probably a medium, but it doesn't really say. Oh, I thought it was cute. I like the pattern on it. I think the flowers are really pretty but it has this across the front. I feel like that's a little played out. I, I don't know. I don't know about that across the top. Um, this would be really nice. Maybe I'll just cut that off and we'll see what that looks like if I cut the, the string off. I don't. I never understood that, why you would put strings there, but okay. Nice sleeve though. Oh, kind of like a ruffle on the sleeve. That's different. Now we've got the same design there on the back. Okay, let's keep moving. This is the other purple top, Sheila Rose size medium. Love the color, but again, what's with the strings? We're gonna have to cut those off. Like, I just don't get it. I don't understand why you need all of that. I guess it's a design element, so we'll see once we get it on, but it's very long. Um, it's a nice soft shirt though, and it's very thick. Um, so it has a nice, it's gonna wash really well. I do have a lot of solid colored shirts from Nadine West that I really like and I wear quite frequently. Um, so I do like that. And then we have another pair of pants. These are Show Show, size 1X. Oh, I like these. These are just really nice and simple dress pants. Um, they do flare out at the bottom, which is great because um, I can't really wear leggings at work. Um, and then they kind of taper in the back as well for your bottom area, it probably says that, butt sculpting. <laughs> so that's kind of funny, but I do really like these pants. So. Let's try all these on and then we'll get together at the end and look at the prices. So hang on. Okay. First outfit. <laughs> what do you guys think I'm going to say? This just is not my style. Um, I already mentioned it earlier. I'm not a leopard print person. I don't feel like a lot of people are wearing it anymore. Um, so I don't feel like this is really in style right now. And the sleeves are really throwing me off. They're a lot baggier than I had expected right here. That's not really where I want to draw attention at my age um, is to that area. I like the length just shouldn't have all this going on. Um, it's nice and fitted though. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I rock it again? 
I don't think so. Um, the pants are too small for me. So I mentioned about the Asian styling or sizing. Um, so this is at its best. If these are extra large, yeah, they're like so tight on me. I had to pull them way up so that they would just fit. Now I'm naturally a hippie and thigh kind of girl. I have a lot going on, um, but these are still just too snug. Um, and then I, I just don't think they're very attractive. They're also very hot and a little bit itchy. So I think we're gonna keep moving. They do have a little bit of like room on the bottom, which is nice. It's maybe the only thing good I can say about them. So let's try on the tropical dress, hang on. All right, so I am a little surprised by this one. Um, I still don't know where I would wear it except for on vacation. It's very comfortable. I probably could go down one size. I mentioned this is an extra large, so large probably would fit better. I do like the pockets, so maybe if there's a tropical day at work, maybe I should hold on to this just in case. I don't know, um, but it's very comfortable. It's very soft and flowy, straight cut. There's not really much to it besides the pockets. The length is really nice. So I can't really say anything bad about it. I just don't know where to wear it. So give me some ideas in the comments while I get the next outfit on. Here we go. I don't know where to start on this one. Um, as you can see, like you can totally see that um so you can see my straps you'd have to wear something under this i don't know what maybe a contrasted color maybe black so that it's obvious you know that it's showing i'm not sure but the color alone just makes me pasty and whiter than i already am <laughs> so it's just not a thing and then this is really itchy the top part so i'm not vibing on this i don't feel like the length is doing me any justice either um so i'm not sure if a different color i might have liked it a little bit better i think the color i have is burgundy maybe and a black um, with this lacy sleeve and I liked it at that time but this color is really throwing me off. Um, let's talk about the pants so, oh it is kind of long in the back too I wanted to show that. Um, let's talk about the pants so again they're a little snug on me which is kind of crazy right. I might hold on to them but I don't like where there's no pockets here and they just have those tiny pockets in the back. I wouldn't even be able to put my phone in these little tiny pockets here in the back so I don't know if I love them enough. Again they're kind of thick so they're really warm on me right now um, and the material is like a faux denim. So I'm not quite sure what to do with that. I like that they're elastic waist. They fit okay up here, a little snug, but okay. So I don't know, this first bag, I'm just not feeling like we're winning. I did want to show you the necklace. Let me get a little closer. The necklace is really cute. I do think I like the necklace. And I like the little, you know, gems in there and the little flowers. So hopefully you can see that. If not, I'll zoom in a little bit, but let's hope we have better luck with the second bag. So hang on, let me get the first outfit on. All right, so this is the exact same dress, I think, as the tropical dress, um, but a different pattern. So same thing, I love the pockets. The fit is a little bit too loose, a large would be better. I just don't think I'd grab for this in my closet. If it was hanging in there, I have a few other dresses that have a lot of patterns on them, and I love them when I look at them, but then I never grab for them. <laughs> so I don't know, I might be passing this dress along and that tropical one, I'm just not sure. I like the length on it though, but convince me otherwise in the comments. And I'm going to go ahead and move on and get the next outfit on. Okay, so I mentioned earlier, I do like this shirt, but just minus this. It's kind of up on my neck really high. I think without it, it'd be really cute. What do you guys think? Should I cut that little string off to see what it looks like? I love the pattern though. I think it's really cute. This is more my style and color. Um, I'm not sure about the ruffles on the sleeve. What do you guys think about the ruffles? Do you like that or not? I did pop the earrings in. I don't want to forget to show you my dangle dangle earrings. I think those are really cute. Um, the length is a little long, so does that bother you guys? I like it with the denim though. These are capris. I'm bumping up against Bella here. They are capris. I don't wear a lot of capris anymore, do you guys? But with boots, you wouldn't even know <laughs> that they were capris. So they fit wonderful. I love these jeggings. I have quite a few um, in my collection. They have nice size pockets in the back too. Very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. And they look like real denim too, which is nice. So we have one more outfit, so hang on. Okay, so I saved this shirt for last because I thought I would like this color the most, and I do. I just don't like the strings. Like, what are we doing here? And it's really high up on my neck. So I think I might try to cut the strings off and see what it looks like. What do I have to lose, I guess? Um, I didn't mention, I meant to mention this in the beginning, Nadine West is kind enough to send me these bags for free, so I get to keep these clothing to show you guys what you could get in your bags. So just want to put that little disclaimer out there. So I typically do keep a few pieces, and then I either donate or give away uh, my other pieces that I have left over. But what do you guys think of the color? I think that's really pretty. Um, it does have that longer tail in the back again, so I probably would wear it with leggings or something like that. Um, so overall, I think it's okay. 
I just really don't like these strings. Um, the pants are okay too. Again, I had to jack them up, so they're really high on me right here. Um, like it keeps going, <laughs> so I think that's kind of weird. Um, otherwise, they'd be too tight here on my waist. And the bottoms are really big and long, um, so I'd have to wear some sort of heel. I do have a small wedge that might look okay with them um, if I wear them to work, but I'm not crazy about them, to be completely honest. I'm being really honest with you guys today, can you tell? Maybe a little too brutal. I don't know. But let's look at these prices. Sometimes that's kind of the do or die as well. So hang on. So what do you guys think? I feel like I've been really negative today and I'm not trying to be, but I also want to be completely transparent and honest with you guys too. I don't know if much of this was my style, but maybe I'm missing something. Let me know your thoughts. Let's go through these prices though. I'll try to keep it per bag so you can kind of compare which bag is your favorite, bag one or bag two. Um, it's a little hard for me to read sometimes the prices, so I will pop them up on the screen so you get the accurate price. That's what you should go buy, not necessarily what I say. <laughs> All right, so the leopard print top here is called the Gemma in Gray Animal, and this one is $39.99. Um, the dress that came in that bag is the tropical dress called Lila. Um, this one's black floral, and this one is $34.99. The tan shirt is Tilly in Ash Mocha. I do like that name. Um, and this one is $33.99. These are gonna be difficult. I don't know which one is which, but they're both $27.99. We have the Kareen in black, and then we also have the Diane pants um, in black, and those are both, like I said, $27.99. So that was the first bag. Oh, and the necklace. This is the Kayleen necklace, and it is $34.99. I do think it's cute. Just not sure for that price. All right, that was bag one. Let's do bag two. Right on top, we have the floral dress. This is the Diana floral dress. This is in blue floral, $34.99. Purple top here. This is the Blanche lilac gray, and this one is $33.99. The other one is called Shane ivory and iris. This is, I think, $33.99. The pants, these are the Adeline in navy blue, $27 or $37.99. And then finally, the black pants, Jessa Palooza pants, Palooza pants in black, and these are $28.99. Oh, and the earrings, Jolie earrings in silver. These are $17.99. I think that's pretty good for the earrings. So I don't know. If you are interested in trying Nadine West, I always put it out there. I'll leave the link below in the description. Also, let me know, bag one, bag two. What was your favorite or what was your favorite piece? Least favorite piece? I don't know. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. That's all I've got for you guys today. Please take a second to like the video and always subscribe and click the bell so you see the notifications when my videos come out. Till next time, guys. Happy styling.